Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken. This is the legendary Iron Man Army of 2 run where we are beating the game and sometimes getting our ass kicked on the highest difficulty with only two and two soldiers per mission. You have heard that uh, 62 times by now. Thank you for tuning in for this week. It is time to invade another alien facility. Operation Special Gift will lead us to South America. And you know the drill, alien facilities, non-timed missions are definitely Edgar Alien, Poe and Outrider. A little bit of a deviation this time though. We are taking um, incinerary rounds and venom rounds with us because I, uh, we know that there is the last alien ruler here. Uh, this is no one short of the infamous Berserker Queen, uh, which uh, we will uh, try to... Um, kill with the um, with both burning and poison damage at the same time. It's gonna be great. I really like it. Um, it shouldn't be too much of an issue unless I am completely going to blow the mission. Uh, but let's see. We shouldn't uh, we shouldn't be uh, too excited, but uh, um, yet. Um, generally speaking, once we have uh, killed her. The alien ruler should be dealt with. It's only two more chosen ones and we can progress the normal storyline so that we are uh, going to finish the campaign. The two main hurdles are going to be the other chosen ones and probably the last mission. So, but we're on a really, really good track um, after uh, the um, warlock had been so easy. I would even say this here could be the the one campaign where we finally make it to the, the very end. I am convinced that uh, the game state is stabilized and it's just a matter of time until uh, we finally get it. Look at that two men. Got a nice little area down here. I think we're going to position ourselves here in high ground. Conveniently enough, we got some uh, remote starts as well. And that is really a large map, but apparently no enemies are here. So might as well move all the way. I won't use the grappling hook yet because uh, I want to save the cooldown um, and so far there is like really no reason to immediately use it. Let's spot out where the enemies are, find a good way to approach them. I am trusting you. I'm surprised that we haven't spotted out a single enemy group so far. Wow. That is rather uncommon, to say the least. Position confirmed. Interesting. I've spotted an alien patrol. You can never escape my sight. All right, finally, first enemy pack. Commander. Moving a little bit closer. And there we finally go. You cannot run. Dragonova moves over just out of your oh, wait a second. We might be able to use this here to our advantage. Those gas tanks can uh, blow up quite a bit. So if this other pat uh, patrol is not moving far away from the house, might be able to get them. Ah, that it's on the edge now. It's really a large explosion area, but probably not that big. Yeah. Looks like they have just moved outside of the area. 
which is unfortunate. I go where you tell me. My watch begins. I'm on it. Again, we don't have any time pressure. I just want to get the right engage here. Those guys stand next to another remote start object. Yeah, but we can't get up, so... I will go. Let's see if we can get them into, into the range of the house. Alternatively, into the range of uh, this truck here. The advantage of seeing them and keeping them marked is you are playing even more safe. The disadvantage is uh, the computer takes quite a while. The AI needs to move every single enemy and that can take surprisingly long amounts of time. I go where I'm needed. I see everything. Again, we're waiting now for them to somewhat come down. Still want to use the remote start here, or alternatively, maybe the Berserker Queen is on a patrol route as well, in which case we could even start with her. Okay, those guys seem to be somewhat fixed. Uh, they move just very far away. And they should come back and maybe move back to the house as well. The reason why I'm not going in deeper is I don't want to spot out even more patrols so that the alien timer doesn't take so long. Again, we're waiting for them to go into the remote start range. 12 points of damage on every single one of them is a really solid opener. Just to make sure they're not like moving into our direction. Perfect. I think they should be in range now. Triggering this pack with the explosion would be nice. Uh, we'll remove almost all of the armor. There's the second pack and look at that. Look who, uh, whom we just found. The Berserk Queen. Okay, moving over here. I have sight beyond vision. Of all the aliens running around out there these days, she just had to modify a berserker, didn't she? Her curiosity was not unfounded, although I agree it was perhaps not the most prudent of choices. <laughs> it is not the most prudent of choices. Yep. Good. Isn't that a beautiful explosion? Like nothing short of the chimney is left over. For whatever reason, we can't see them. Probably because Dragonover is here and those stones take a uh, line of sight away. It's a bit unfortunate. 
we are still in cover so there is almost no chance for us to uh, to go on to overwatch uh, to hit something with overwatch because we're still in cover but we can continue to do so I think we're not going to be spotted out either way Berserker Queen definitely hasn't spotted us out so far. And those guys are curious where the explosion was coming from. We probably need to withdraw just a little bit. Uh, this here is dangerous. More dangerous than you would expect. So let's clean up this back here. Nice and easy. And let Edgar Alien Poe stay away from here so we're starting with the elite lancer again 100% hit we're not going to be revealed Return to your all right perfect timing by the way to no not retreat. stand there Um, we are going to go even further away. Confirmed. I want to make sure that we're not standing like in the middle of all of uh, them. So let's position ourselves at a place where I'm pretty sure that we're not going to be spotted out, which is over here. I will reposition. By the way, this could have uh, gone either way. He could have moved around the chimney. Wouldn't have been the first time that I see that. These guys are still there. close to the car so moving over I'm wondering if we can explode the car and get a remote start on them can't do it yet are we far enough away hmm Let's move a bit further back. The reason why I want to go really all the way back is not because I'm afraid. I really don't want uh, to um, to pull the Bursa Queen in the middle of it. Let's just clear the packs. That should be easy. I don't even know where they have been uh, attacked from. Everyone's just standing there. <coughs> and 81% is still a pretty fair chance of hitting those, uh, hitting the Mac. They've got our position. Good, we do not have blue screen rounds. The only remote start is over there, okay. Getting myself into safety. Again, they don't know where the shot was coming from. So technically they shouldn't move into that direction. The other pack here is just wasting their time. I'm wasting, uh, waiting until and the shield drops off and then we can finish them. Let's 
So maybe they are even going to cluster up more. We do not have any clear line of sight other than this shot here. Might as well take it. I need to reload. I'll watch closely. Yeah, I is currently looking for us. That's why they are doing these erratic moves because uh, they think we are hiding somewhere here. Which, to be true, uh, to be totally honest, is true. But they don't know from, from uh, where exactly we're hiding. And that was the reason why I pulled back. Because you always want to be a bit out of uh, range. If I would have been closer, they certainly would have spotted me out. Good. In order to do this the right way, we are going to take a look at all of them. Good. And now we should trigger four shots with the kill zone. The absence of blue screen rounds is noticeable. And now they spotted us out, which stinks. Okay. We gotta be careful now. Fortunately, we took damage. Which means we clearly made a mistake. Because to be honest, we shouldn't have taken any damage here. Okay, so he's going to burn and is going to die. Might as well finish him off, because if he dies, we're not getting the kill experience. Plus this here might be an ambush kill and uh, an ability point. Plus it increases our crit chance further. I'm a bit miffed that we have taken uh, damage. That was unnecessary. Reload and take a shot. Okay, Andromedon is down. We're going to kill both of them relatively easy, and then it's time for the Berserker Queen. They desert their masters. Interesting, the shell runs away. I will go. 
an advent data pad, which means additional intel. And this here should be a kill. There we go. Nice. Good job. Okay, let's reload. Get into position. And we are waiting for now. Okay, let us maybe go up here. I must move quickly. Uh, we're not, we're not overwatching here. At least not uh, sniper overwatching. We would have clear line of sight, but we're not sniper overwatching. Um, and we're moving over here because this tree uh, blocks line of sight. And the Berserker Queen is a melee uh, opponent. This here would be 12. Putting a homing mine on top of her for good measures. We're using the advanced teamwork. this here the homing mine will not uh, will not trigger but it will trigger once we are actually hitting her well now it has begun This here will hit it, uh, it will poison it, and the homing mine will go off. There can be no mercy. This here should set it on fire. spotted out let's hope that that it stays this way oh my gosh so close Whew. all right well <laughs> well Cover me 
I'm reloading. All right, let's keep on going. All right, she's trying to summon a gate. Overwatch will not uh, trigger her gate movement. And we're now going to banish her. That's the moment that we waited for. We now need as much, uh, as, as much burst damage as possible. one that's by the way the reason why I was reloading last round that's a very solid 40 damage maybe could have used tail and rounds for even more damage to crit her She's going to run, which is trigger, which should be triggering. Can we go into shadow? Oh, hey, yeah, nice. Give me a minute. Let's homing mine her. Because now I think we have a kill shot. Let's see. That might be GG. <laughs> nice. Doing with this thing. I would be curious to hear her reasoning. Although I would question whether reason was ever involved in this decision. Commander, that's the last of them. Three botched science experiments, three alien rulers down for the count. At the very least, we know Valen is still out there somewhere, and we picked up some new gear in the process. Not a bad haul, considering. Come get some! Perfect. My life is in your hands. So it was down to 60 hit points. Then we dealt 40 hit points of damage with a full... Uh, with the full attack and on top of that the entire uh, poison and fire just got her down further and further and when she had the chance to run overwatch plus then effectively the homing mine oh come on that's bullshit Good. We just need to finish the mission. I think the only problem is our uh, our lack of um, concealment. I will reposition. No place for you to go now. But we're still going to be okay. There's a tower. I am to obey. Moving to As you order, Commander. Okay, let's kill the tower first. That should be relatively easy. Again, we're shredding it with first shot, next shot is going to kill it, hair trigger, and let's kill it. 
Good. Time for us to overwatch. There's, there should be only a, at the maximum one more pack left over. And this is where we need to go. I am trusting you. Venice one five, you're near the target position. I'm on the move. So pretty solid positioning. Reloaded. Reloading. Thing that uh, the only thing I'm afraid about is if there's an enemy pack back here. I am at your service. Guess only one way to find out, right? Next round we can go here and try to get out. I don't want to move in. This might trigger a pack. And then we're stuck there. My watch begins. Overwatch. The invaders move. Yeah, something's behind uh, behind that wall. Let's hope they are not moving, but just standing still. I go where you tell me. Okay, so we're not going to start it. Instead, we're moving over because we are finishing the mission next turn and just want to get everyone out of uh, here. Get us out of here already! Good. Let's position and plant the C4. Charges are armed. Move to the extraction point for immediate evac. Deploying grapple. Good enough. Good enough. I'm still miffed about the three points of damage that we have taken, but I think overall the mission was a success. Uh, specifically since we could kill the Berserker Queen. That was actually quite helpful. The last pack would have been the one with the gatekeeper, so I wasn't totally eager to fight it without uh, blue screen rounds. Gatekeeper can be quite a tough opponent. We would have taken uh, at least a round or two to get rid of all of its armor. Good, very good. It seems as if we are done with this alien facility and we got ourselves a nice little berserker coat. There we go, there we go the berserker queen corpse. On your order, I can begin conducting an autopsy on the latest of Valen's test subjects. We have an opportunity here to advance our own research beyond the bounds of our current expertise. We should begin as soon as possible. The alien facility now stands in ruin, Commander. Excellent work. Excellent Your work. Will no doubt slow the aliens' progress towards the Avatar project. Good. I would suggest we are getting more intel because that's really what we need in order to make contact. Are you ready to put on a show? 
look at this. Uh, our uh, GTS has trained the first sergeant, just in case we need it uh, for the side trip missions that only allow us to go in with the sergeant or lower. We got a grenadier. I think it's time for specialist training next. We certainly have nothing else to buy. Yeah, and if we get the side trip, I'm really torn about this. Uh, normally that side trip is pretty bad because with only two soldiers, I mean, what are we talking about, right? Like we're, we're looking at shredder, a little bit suppression and, and a grenade, like that's it. There's even for a class that excels in the early game, this is not a, not an end game build. So yeah, that would be really difficult with only two, um, with only two soldiers however she's gifted so that means she has also 10 ability points which again means we might be able to give her something if we were to use her in the future that's a lot of if 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 let's gain some more intel gotta deal with her soon because she's going to attack us elsewise Elders never had any issues targeting civilians. We got our wounds recovered. Uh, just double checking with the infirmary. We have no negative traits. Okay, good. Uh, double checking with the training center. No, we have no bonds. Okay, time to move on. 40 more hours. I'm glad to see our joint effort paid off like we hoped. Great. Unlock the chosen stronghold mission. Chosen might prove useful. The resistance found a way into the chosen stronghold, Commander. Our troops are ready to deploy. We should launch a strike as soon as possible. I think someone would need to go there soon. Getting rid of her, that would be luxurious. So, how many days uh, are we talking about? Um, we do have. Eight more days until the supply drop, so keep that in mind if we're looking at it. We got mobility plus one, dodge plus five, that's not bad. Eight days, it's okay. We got a couple of mobility ones up here. Mobility is uh, not bad, dodge plus nine is very good, plus, plus the intel, so it's probably the one that we're going to end up taking. Hacking plus five, aim plus two, Dodge plus 10, holy cows, holy macaronis. So that's not bad either. Dodge plus 9 and Dodge plus 10. Ooh, another Dodge plus 6. The game knows what I'm talking about. A promotion? All beam weapons have plus one damage? What? Wait a second. Okay, good. Um, I think this is what we're going to do because plus one for all beam weapons as damage is unmatched. I mean, I, I like the dodge, don't get me wrong. Hmm. I mean, we could put Roby here and he would gain more in more combat intelligence. Uh, and six dodge that that would be an option i think nah i'm overcomplicating it like this is by far the best so i think we should fight the assassin right away hopefully not get hurt and then afterwards put well we don't need to wait uh, because for a promotion like, whom would we take for a promotion um i like another grenadier I think that's a really good idea. So we're going to take her. 
take another soldier here. One of the captains. And some scientist. That is good. That is very good. All beam weapons plus one. Amen. Okay. Let's begin this. And if we expand our queue, we yeah, it doesn't show. Like we don't know if technical advances is happening prior to the supply drop. I hope it doesn't because the ten dodge uh, is a really good motivation. Um, but since we don't have anything else to do right now, may I humbly suggest that we're looking into the assassin stronghold mission and by doing so let's take a look what our training center has to say about our two candidates uh, that would be Roby we're having 23 points we wanted rapid fire so we're not yet there that would definitely help and Hogbite has all of uh, the abilities that we need for now so if we train anyone it would be probably Roby and get, giving him giving him the last ability uh, that would also be a thing so giving him more firepower in a nutshell as for the actual uh, mission let's uh, prepare that as well oh i'm i'm excited just realized that we can uh, fight another chosen and one of the ones that annoys me the most i hate the assassin Blah 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 blah. All of you are anyways not going to join. So if we're fighting the assassin, we're going to do it. Let's think about it. Uh, she's going to have Harbor Wave, which means we need immunity for Mind Shield. Also, her hit, uh, her hits, her actual hits are unblockable and will trigger Mind Shield, uh, or will trigger Dazed if we're not having a Mind Shield. We will need the healing because she's going to deal a lot of damage, which means there's no more room for any sort of ammunition. Um, we have a super high aim, that's good. We have by far the best weapon, so not even uh, starting to sweat there. Got a little bit of dodge, 10 dodge here for him. Uh, could be more, but it's okay, it's a start. And got 55 plus uh, 25, so we're looking at 80 dodge. Again, that needs to for the final mission we definitely need to go in with 100 because I will stand in the middle of everything and just tank it. Um, I like the conditioning, that's good for him, the three hit points, that works. So yeah, looks like we're going in guys, but it also looks like we're going to do this in the next session. And that brings me to my most important uh, point of uh, today's session uh, to thank you for um, for taking a look and um, accompanying me in this uh, session. I hope you like what you've seen. Uh, we got a nice little reward. And next time, it's going to be a double episode. Uh, and uh, we are hopefully going to kill number two, the assassin, uh, which then means we have only one final um, chosen to uh, compete with uh, before we are going to go into the right direction with the run. If you liked uh, what you've seen, uh, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, uh, or just generally give me a PM or whatever. I like the interaction with the community. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful evening. Bye bye.